I'll be able to, certainly, but it'll be painful. You're going for a rough night, Potter. Regrowing bones is a nasty business. <laughs> well, what do you expect, pumpkin juice? Harry Potter should have listened to Dobby. Harry Potter should have gone back home when he missed the train. It was you. You stopped the barrier from letting Ron and me through. Indeed. Yes, sir. You nearly got Ron and me expelled. At least you would be away from here. Harry Potter must go home. Dobby thought his bludger would be enough to make Harry Potter see that... Your bludger? You made that blood chase after me. Dobby feels most aggrieved, sir. Dobby had to iron his hands. You better clear off before my bones come back, Dobby, or I might strangle you. <gasps> Dobby is used to death threats, sir. Dobby gets them five times a day at home. I don't suppose you could tell me why you're trying to kill me. Not kill you, sir. Never kill you. Dobby remembers how it was before Harry Potter triumphed over he who must not be named. We house elves were treated like vermin, sir. Of course, Dobby is still treated like vermin. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you wear that thing, Dobby? This, sir, it is a mark of the house elves' enslavement. Dobby can only be freed if his master presents him with clothes. <gasps> listen! Listen! Terrible things are about to happen at Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not stay here now that history is to repeat itself. Repeat itself? You mean this has happened before? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh. Bad Dobby! Dobby! Bad Dobby! Stop it! Stop it, Dobby! Tell me, Dobby, when did this happen before? Who's doing it now? Dobby cannot say, sir. Dobby only wants Harry Potter to be safe. No, Dobby. Tell me, who is it? <laughs> 